Hi guys, Mr. Jaeger here, and welcome back to a rather wonderful new episode. So in the previous episode, we did some fighting. Uh, this army under Mr. Erbat Falkenstein has, dis has earned his rank of motherfucker, as he was able to completely decimate and, uh, well, effectively two Spanish armies worth of soldiers on the river area, which I just realized there's no famous marking in this game, which is a little bit of a shame. I kind of, I was half expecting to see some kind of like marker or like a note or something to say that yes, indeed a big battle took place here. But it turns out not to be the case, which is a little bit of a shame. So the other thing we're going to be doing is, well, what we've been doing is we have been progressively taking over different locations and forcing the Spanish out of the regions. Now, I am about to launch, or preparing to launch a, an assault towards Spain here. However, I am also, or, or the final part of Spain here, but I'm also going over to Sardinia as I kind of want to grab these regions. Now, admittedly, these territories are kind of want to... I, I know I shouldn't really do auto-resolve because, again, it's like we should have the combats, but I also kind of... That's a lot of cannon. And that could cut up my infantry quite quick, so I'm wondering if I do this... You know what? I will take that. Mainly because I know I would have suffered much higher casualties if I was to engage them in battle. So... Get that sorted. Close that down. This song has been constantly being played, and I'm not sure what the hell the name of this song is called. I've heard this so many times. Anyway, so important objective number one. We've grabbed Naples. Naples is now under our control. So there's two major benefits from that. One. We're right next to the Vatican. Now, the reason why I say that is because, apart from the fact that this represents all of uh, Catholicism in Europe, as well as the world, this also proves to be quite a strong position navally for me, as this location has not only a, a one already upgraded port, though it does not need fucking two. Though, to be fair, that looks like a much better location. Ah, actually, to be fair, I kind of like that being the location for the military dry dock, rather than um, here. Here, this should probably just be... A uh, civilian location or some sort. I guess the people absolutely hate my guts. True. To be fair, I am in an area where there is 100% no uh, Christianization efforts being put into play. Same goes for here. Uh, this battle looks a little bit more positive in my line, mainly because of the fact that the, ma the majority of the enemy forces inside this army are in fact ca sp uh, ca uh, cavalry. I was trying to find the words Spanish and cavalry. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I kept having them in the same sent same word. So I was like, Cavalry, span, span, spavalry. <laughs> it's like, no. No, it, 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 it doesn't work. Uh, yes. Path has been blocked. Really? I couldn't tell. Fusilier von Trotsch. Ooh. A minor faction with its own unique um, radio. Yes, that's how it works. So, we're more or less done over here. I might move this fleet to support this fleet, because although this fleet is currently in port and currently uh, laying siege to the other fleet, I am doing stuff. Though this army here... Oh, the dry dock... Oh, I'm not under control. This army here is currently chilling at the moment, that there are no... There, there is no armed forces here, so that should be fine. You've got Jaeger infantry, which I might take advantage of over here. I'm also sending a fleet out, which is currently on its way to India as an opportunity to gain some territory in uh, the southern half of the Indian tip is actually proving itself to be... Well, it's a bit too much to resist. So I'm just going to go for it, and hopefully we can endure. Uh, other news. Technology. Kind of progressing kind of. Like, we're making heads bounds. We've got the poverty control laws being researched at the moment. We're kind of focusing heavily on uh, civil and... Uh, we're, yeah, we're focusing heavily on civil as well as up things. Unfortunately, citizenship is going to piss off the local um, 
yeah, it's going to piss off the locals by quite a bit. And while the abolition of slavery will improve, I wanted to research passports first because the economics as well as the trade doctrine and everything else just will cause so much of a pain in the ass. I should, oh. Anyway, so I'm just going to hold position for the time being. Anyway, we need to lay sea. We need to attack Sardinia. And we do have the benefit of reinforcements. I thought I had to move them out, but it doesn't look like it's the case. So, there you go. So, the main benefit of taking both of these islands is that they provide a strong uh, naval lo strong naval incentive in the region. It also ensures, like, it ensures domination of the naval area. Like, I'm able to have naval vessels and fleets and shit working really good, work it towards and help me out and other jazz. English is not my strong suit at the moment. So. Just realized that guy was dead and his skirt was up. <laughs> Sorry. Kilt. Kilt. Before I get gutted. Right. So the battlefield is looking a little bit close, which is kind of good for me, but not really. And for bump. Right, so, first of all, all three of y'all. Uh, to be fair, this could be a problem. Could be a problem. Bomb. I'm going to nudge you and mix you in between. Just because I don't want to chance having... Uh, right, I'm going to put you as well in the center. Yeah, there we go. Just... Just, just making sure that you fuckers don't get the chance to. Uh, trying to see, can I, can I nudge you a little bit? There we go. No, uh, no, that's literally in the gun. Don't quite want it to be like that. Just saying. There we go. That's a much better position because then that way, if any of the fuckers get in the range of the guns, they're gonna have an explosive surprise. Now, the next thing we need to do is make sure that our army is in a good position to react to that. One, two, three, four. So, you boys will take up defensive position along the left-hand flank. You boys will take defensive position along the right. And we should hopefully be able to defend the line. Uh, mm, actually, it's not too bad. It, this area is a little bit concerning, considering that there's a bit of a bump. But it's not too atrocious in that regard. Lancer Cavalry will just take up defensive position, I want to say, on this corner here. Because I feel like this would be probably a better location for you. But everything else kind of just... Mm, yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll have the guys spread out and stuff. So go. Oh, God. N n no. Stop. Stop. Fuck's sake. Right. Slow down time. How we didn't lose anyone, I don't know. Right. You. You. Double time it there. You. Yeah, you guys in the middle. Double time. You guys in the middle. Yes. You guys. Double time it here. So not only do they have to deal with an explosion, they also have to deal with large amounts of casualties. At least that's the hope. It's a little bit close for that cavalry. I'm not exactly feeling optimism in that regard. But there's not really a lot we can do to stop that. So, right. Line. Right, no chance. Right, withdraw. Might want to withdraw. They might know. Yeah, they might want to. They might withdraw. They might not. Right, ceasefire. Oh, fuck. No, withdraw. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Run, 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 run. The tactic is not going to work. The tactic will not work. The only thing I think that would work... Yeah, it's not going to work. Right, you boys withdraw. 
We've got the we've got a uh, spike strip in front of my dudes, but I think the battlefield is just a little bit too small. What I will do is get you boys to set up defensive positions on the left flank. Because I think you can do something that might prove useful. Yeah, it looks like they're going all ham. I know they're grenadiers, but still, that's bad. Yeah, it's a little bit chaotic there for us. Yeah, the battle is progressing at a much faster pace than I had previously anticipated. Yeah, definitely not good. Nothing... I mean, my, my, my men are shooting quickly enough, which is useful, but at the same time, positioning could be a lot better. Or at least it... it yeah, no, that... They can only do so much, and these guys are literally going to struggle. I don't know, like, it feels like the enemy are just bum-rushing us at this point. Unfortunately, I think the enemy have just gotten a quick barrage in as they came in. Yeah, it looks like lucky. They got the house militia horses as well. I'm hoping my dudes are in a good enough position, to be fair. Yeah, they are actually proving to be in a good position. It's just taking too long, that's all. Right. Right, they're noobs, my dudes are not noobs, and they're just getting attacked on the flank. That's perfect. Perfect. Good shit. Good shit. It's kind of satisfying that we see an entire cavalry regiment run in fear of the Bosniaks, which doesn't entirely surprise me. They are the most terrifying fucking neighbors. Like, they're the most terrifying force I have to bear. Right, you boys, double time it. Right, you boys, get your asses in gear and start charging towards that position. It's actually a little dip. This combat has been absolutely brutal. Like, it's just been a quick slugfest, which, to be fair, considering the previous episodes have been quite a lot of long, long scale engagements, it's kind of nice to have that kind of quickness to it. But at the same time, it is a bit like a Jesus Christ on a bike. Especially with some of the ways that these dudes have been absolutely obliterated. Oh, speaking about absolute obliteration. Yeah. I feel sorry for them. I genuinely do. To a small part. I mean, I don't know whether it's just the... Oh, hello. I have an opportunity for you. Never mind their routing. Yeah, like, they're getting utterly obliterated. Like, this, this is the thing with Jaeger infantry, but to be fair, I think it's more the fact that the Jaeger infantry don't operate under line fire discipline. So, un so, for example, Militia's main advantage is the fact that they don't deal with line fire, which means there's actually kind of a restriction on firepower because they can only do so much. Whereas Jaeger infantry, every man fires, which means you get 200 rounds per every however long you're shooting. Now, of course, that does mean that there are points where, in some cases, you got people shooting and, you know, an entire regiment will fire their rounds, but at the same time, oh my god, 
Yeah, that looks like the day's done. I think we won. Nope, tell a lie. There's one left. The garrison regiment. Meine Herren. How beautiful. When you watch when you watch that vi that film from like 18 about the 1864 conflict between Prussia and uh, Denmark, that f <laughs> that freaking Howard Sabree, 1200, uh, uh, just oh, I just love uh, it's it's one of those things that my brain just occasionally just goes mine helm, how bitsen, and just completely yeah exactly big fucking exactly, and again still no quick line. But no, we can actually research it now, which is the big awesome thing. But we just need to get the damn thing set up. You know what? Credit where credit's due. These garrison regiments have taken an absolute shit kicking. And they are still coming back. I should be proud of them. Or at least have a respect, modicum of respect. Does anyone still want to fight? No. You're the last reason. And that reason has just gone. There you go. Problem solved. Still, your bravery has been noted, even if your life will be short. Yes. She's just like staring at the distance. She's like, yes, that's what I am. I'm a dog. Right, so we have annihilated the enemy forces, suffering extremely low casualties whilst controlling the entire region, which is wonderful. Downside is we are going to have problems. Public order is never going to be resolved. I half want to just leave this place as is to try and ensure, like, some form of stability to it. But, yeah. Uh, Dry Dock, though, I'm going to say no for two reasons. One, we already have one at uh, Tarantino and or Taranto. And as a result, I don't think it would actually benefit anything, really. Second, public order. It's going to be shit if we don't do something about it. And as a result, I think it's probably a good idea just to leave it be. So the good news is our region is now under, the region that we want is now under control, and I can just kind of chill there. What I will also now do is launch an attack with uh, Mr. Zimmerman, who is proving himself to be quite the capable commander, and uh, send him, well, once the turn ends, we'll send him to go back up the Madrid siege because I feel like we want I've got a sneaking suspicious feeling I have a feeling we're also going to be attacked yeah and we can't withdraw fuck my left side this could be disastrous if we're not careful that's the reason why we spent all this time with the siege equipment pressure rises yeah we're gonna have a big battle and it's gonna be ugly We've got a general coming in to back up the reinforcements. and the, Well, to be fair, yes and no. We've only got one, two, three, four, five slots of the enemy's army that will be coming in to reinforce. So, in a sense, it won't be so bad. But, yeah, could, 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 could be a bit of a problem. And we're back. A little bit of a crash has uh, resulted in, thankfully... Not much lost, which is important. Well timed on the saves. This is why I save like a madman. Right, so. We're going to quickly... Problem is, we're kind of fucked. In the sense that the army that we're going to be facing against us is the smaller army. But the army that we're going to be... That's going to be sending troops in. I think is going to be coming in from the west. And not the east. I think. Though, because I'm facing here. I'm just looking at the map. So, technically speaking, we were laying siege. He came from the east. So, the attacker is from here. So, my thought process is the enemy is going to be coming from there. I think the enemy will reinforce from the left, from the right. So, the issue with this particular battlefield is it's not actually too dissimilar to what we just faced in the previous battle. In which there's a lot of area that could... Well, there's a lot of land mass here that could be problematic. I'm thinking maybe you go here. Maybe. Maybe like here. There's... Yeah, there's, a, there's very little maneuvering room when it comes to this location. I could try and nudge the cannon up a little bit. Try and get into a position here. But again, it's... Let me... 
the issue is we're going to be facing off against a pretty substantial force of enemy troops, and if we're not careful, it could go south really quickly. In addition to sending some cavalry, I'm going to be sending some infantry support as well. The remaining infantry will stay in the town to try and do whatever we can to protect it, but that will mean the, the army in the town will be vulnerable, as then they'll have a lot of troops on their hand. Oh, and they're coming from behind. Right, cavalry needs to come over here. Double fucking time it. Right, you boys need to, in a sense, I, I'd say probably what would be more worth it is this reg or these regiments clog over to here. Double time. Right, you three about face and dart towards this location. You boys adjust defensive positions. You three go to the far side over here. Double time it. Come on. Double time it. There you go. You boys adjust heading over towards there. You boys will hold position. Cavalry is... Oh boy. That's bad. Right. Fuck it. You're out. You're... Oh, boy. Right, withdraw. Yeah, I mean, get back. We're not in a good position, are we? Square. Three fucking cavalry regiments. Infantry, move up into the defensive positions if we can. You... Adjust defensible heading. The good news, if anything, is that the army in question, well, the army dudes in, in question, we're just going to try and defensively form up and just deal with that. That's... Oh, boy. Right, you boys get into defensive position. You boys get into defensive position. There's no infantry watching the fucking cannon. I may lose the guns. Fling yourselves before the cannon. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just get your fucking asses over there. Right, you boys, get yourselves back. Oh, my God. They're just running all over the fucking place, and I can't react. Right, slow down. Slow down time. You boys, yeah, immediately routed those guys. Not surprised. Right. You boys, just force the bastards to withdraw. Yes, good. Right, you boys, get yourselves back over to the left side. Literally, I'm trying to fling what I can in front of these dudes so that they don't hit the guns. I'm going to probably cause some friendly fire in this regard, but I'm willing to take that hit. Even, even with like some of the more experienced troops out there, I'm willing to take losses to protect the guns. The howitzers can fire above people, which is a nice bonus. Please don't tell me you're, oh, you're, you're in a grenade. That's fine. Like, these guys are going to be in combat, but the main incentive here is I need to slam dunk into these guys as much as possible. Otherwise, we're just going to start seeing the same problems. You boys, I'm going to... Really? You're doing that, right? Okay, fuck it. You guys... Get over there first, or something. Just, oh good lord, the pathfinding in this game. Right, you guys have struggled a lot with that. Cavalry, uh, sorry, infantry, just withdraw back into the town. Right, you boys. I want to try and make this as effective as I can. So I'm thinking, actually no, you guys need to set up into something more like that. You guys need to set up into something more like that. 
and then you guys need to set up into something more like that. Getting into position then means that we can absolutely annihilate things. You guys run thy fuck out of there. Okay, good news is we've scared off some of the dudes. That's great. You boys are just positioning to avoid getting shot. You boys get back into defensive positions, cover the withdrawal of the horses, and get that set up. Yeah, lances have broken. That's not surprising. Infantry can just kind of chill for the time being because they are just going to gather up their forces along the point. You guys just get back into defensive positions. I don't know what to do with you, but it's fine. Infantry, uh, cavalry, just get the fuck out of here. In fact, I will redirect you to a better location so that we can potentially do something beneficial. Right, let's get back into it. And the main incentive here is... Oh, wait, they're wavering. They're not actually in... Right, good. They're, they're, they're not there. Oh, for fuck's sake, get the fuck in there, you piece of fucking shit. Come on. Double time it, double time it, double time it, double time it, double time it. Right, so we're going to do the same shit that we did, if we can, with... Yeah. So we're going to try and set up the same kind of defensive line... ...as we do in... Please tell me you're actually going to start paying attention and doing shit importantly. Alright, you... I'm going to try and deploy you in a decent location. I said, the main incentive here is we just need to route them. I'm not expecting, nor am I going... Like, the, the, the garrison forces, I just want to shoot them until they fall back. That's primarily what I want to do. I might withdraw you further to this position here because you're taking absolute shit kicking. And then if I then deploy you boys at a more lengthy def defensive position, that's fine. That does the job. Also, G fucking G to that cannon over there at the 12 further. Fortunately, you're out of range, which is a bit of a shit. Wish I could shoot you, but I can't. What I can do, though, is empty your uh, your armies full of uh, garrisons. Right, so I think the second regiment <laughs> just got sent flying, along with the first. So these guys have got that sector locked down. That is actually quite useful. So this one's a tough one, but I will say the Spanish, so far, the Spanish in this war have reacted aggressively. And... Um, doing my best to counteract them as best as I can. I, God, I think I said that twice. The, yeah, the, so far the Spanish have definitely been more aggressive in their mannerisms. They haven't done an Ottoman, which is kind of refreshing. And when I say Ottoman, I mean, for the for context of those who haven't seen the episodes, first of all, see the episodes, but second of all, it is basically the Ottoman Empire, despite their prowess of being a pretty substantial nation, they didn't actually do much in the sense of like they didn't actually do much in terms of massive aggressive actions I mean the biggest uh, or the most aggressive actions I could really say that they successfully completed was okay that's bad you're getting fucking shelled on all right yeah so the only thing I would say that the Ottoman Empire truly succeeded in doing was whenever we were to Whenever the flank was left exposed or open or anything, the yeah, I'm not surprised you're wavering. Yeah, you guys took an absolute shit kicking. I'm not entirely surprised you're routing now. Right, this is an opportunity for me to do some serious damage to their cannon operations. <laughs> the next regiment died. Ooh, nice. Nice casualty intake. Hopefully we can get that cannon. I mean, noise. Oh, that was a good shot. Oh, what was that? Nice, nice, and nice. Maybe not 
quite getting there yet, but they're getting there. Right. Oh, this is disgusting. There's a lot of guards that are getting massacred here. Oh, that's bad. Also, General... Yeah, the cannon is taking some fire here. Gunners, fucking target the goddamn cunts in front of you. Seriously. There are dudes right in front of you who want to do something. The intelligent decision would be to engage them. Hold the line, if you can. Beautiful. taking some hits. If they're going to start focusing on the wrong side of it. Nice, nice. Well done, lads. Well done. You've not only survived, but you've also come back. You've not only come back from a route, you've also completely destroyed it. These guys, they're just going to get some EXP, free EXP for shooting. Sadly, we're not going to do a huge amount of casualties intake on these guys, but the main incentive here is just try and kill these wankers as best as you can. I'm just going to unlimber the guns, unless you guys have lost your guns. Okay, no, it's fine. Sadly, a lot of these guys are going to get away. Not really fine, but okay. I'll manage. The main incentive is we need to kill those artillery howitzers. Because knocking out the howitzers, very important. Very important. Right, nice, nice. Um, gone. Lancers are now taking care of the other cow uh, other ca yeah, other dudes' armed forces. The useful thing also is that if these guys can keep coming back into battles, we get to do this. Would you like to start shooting? Or is the one dude who's gonna stand there? Oh, he just got his face blasted in half! <laughs> he literally got a face full of musket. Yeah, sure, we're taking some casualties, but you're taking higher levels of casualties, which is the important part. Right, you boys, double time it along here. Spread out, there's the enemy's general. I'd say withdraw, because I'm a little bit like you probably shouldn't do anything else. The fuck out of there, come on. I'm sorry. What? Ah, probably a good idea to, like, move the infantry. Uh, move away. Come on. Right, you boys, insert defensive position along yonder. You keep shooting them, boys. And just keep letting the fuckers come through. Again, the main incentive here. Kill them all. Just, you know, just just kill them all. You know, that's, that's all I ask. Nothing too special. Just just death. You know, no pressure. Just murder. I mean, the battlefield at the moment looks kind of sketch. You're exhausted. Totally don't surprise me. Right, you just stay there. Do your thing. And is there... Oh, fuck me. Stop. Come on, 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 come on. Come on. Motherfuckers. Oh, they're just going to run through. Assholes. Just shoot him. I'm wondering if... Yeah, no, it's too late. 
If you can get into position, brilliant. If you can't... Okay, they took a lot less casualties, but... I'm wondering if this, if everyone starts routing, then we're going to be in for some bit of a problem. Because obviously, these guys will probably not be able to come back in. And then these guys... I mean, I'm, I'm literally waiting. I'm waiting for all of these dudes to come in so that my infantry can absolutely decimate them. I mean, their numbers have taken such high level of casualties. It's ridiculous. Bob bomb Any reason why you're not using your secondary line shot, maybe? Nice. Okay, boys, you want to reload, get yourselves all nice and ready to go. The next line of infantry is coming. I mean, the useful thing here is the siege is going to become that much easier to win, and they also take attrition. I'm just going to remember that note. The enemy will take additional attrition. We'll, we'll, we'll get the benefits of some replenishment. Well, I say replenishment. We'll get the benefit of, you know, of completely destroying the opposing forces, yet they won't. So they have to reload as fast as they can. Nice, nice. So this battle is definitely going to be taking a bit of a time for it. But the th again, the main... In oh, okay. That might have just been the battle lost. Well, the battle won. But yeah. Yeah, it looks like they've gone. Yeah. Wait, hang on. How am I still... Wait. So the enemy reinforcements coming in still count huh okay that's that's something i didn't realize i thought if the enemy would have been i would have thought the enemy being sent into nice i would have thought the enemy having routed before uh like in a sense the enemy has no uh, fields that are current oh god fields god I'm like i can't speak today I would have thought the enemy not having any non-routing units in the field would have caused the battle to be a win or a loss, depending on what side you're on. So the fact that I'm actually waiting for the enemy or for the opposing reinforcements to come through is a bit of a is a bit of actually a surprise. Oh God, the amount of bodies! Yeah, this is definitely a massacre scene. Oh my giddy on. So yeah, I'm actually quite surprised that the reinforcements count towards the... Yeah, like, I'm kind of surprised the reinforcements, even if they're not part of the actual battle when they they start to come in, still are counted as forces that can be, obviously... Is that the last one, though? That's the question. Or is there another one behind that? Nope, there's another one. These guys may not last as long. No, I didn't think so. Okay. My, res my respect to the... Uh, no. Yeah. There we go. Nice. So, yes, the enemy forces are... Compl yeah, the Spanish are going to take a huge level of casualties... And these regiments are going to become like the most elite motherfuckers in the on the entire army, just because they're just like, yeah, I'm just going to keep shooting. We're just going to keep shooting. So was it? We lost one. To be fair, this regiment, 99, the the hundredth and the 99th, these boys deserve a very good pat on the back. Not only did the 99th come back and basically utterly devastate the opposing for uh, not to de devastate the troops that they were engaging but also uh, they uh, did a pretty uh, they also got a quite a unique name uh, so i might definitely try and add the uh, red balloon regiment just because because you know cliche song piss take uh, this, is, this is how we go so 11th foot guards yeah, they're walking into their demise. Like, you'd think when they were entering into the battlefield, they were like, you know, there's a lot of bodies here, Sergeant. I don't know if we're really in a good place right now. 
and it turns out not it oh hello they actually got into melee oh they got they sort of got into melee oh god if you can get one more volley shot i think they've been saved by the fact that a few of their dudes yeah a few of their dudes have it were in melee and i think that's what saved them from getting another full on because these guys were still reloading my god the amount of body you can't touch the ground that is honest to god you, you can't touch the ground i am speechless just to, to, to a certain extent i am speechless it's just a shame that the battle has to now the the, the downside is the battle has to still last hang on how do they already lose two troops D wait hang on a second they took casualties on the way in. <laughs> oh my god, they actually took casualties on the way in. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're going to be benefiting from uh, any decent level of quality here. <laughs> oh god. It's, it's not good, is it? Not really, no. Yeah, you're in the shit now. I mean, to be fair, credit where credit's due. Yeah. And gone. Shame we can't keep shooting. My god, just the sheer amount of it. Some of these units are definitely... Yeah, some of these units are coming out. They're not... Well, they're, they're coming out and they're damaged not as much as I'd like. But then there are some units that have absolutely been devastated. And it's just like, god damn. Also, I'm, I'm so glad I got the ammunition sub mod. Seriously, I am so glad. Also, why are you on guard? I mean, I know you can see that there are enemy reinforcements coming. And you do look like badasses, I will not deny. It's just this one dude who's just like, I refuse to be at attention. <laughs> Victor Saltspire does not incur danger here. Is there any more to, to fly into amongst them? Oh no, there's another one. There's another Victor Salt Spire. GG. Oh, bless you. So the question is, is this the last regiment? Because they're about to have a bad day. And it just gets worse for them. Every time. It, it really does get worse for them. Every single time. Yep, yeah, they're fucked. Oh no, we got another army. Christ. You know, this is the third... I just realized something. This is the third time that... Oh, yeah, they're just... They're, they're, they're insta-shattering so at this point. I think the army losses. As soon as they come in, they realize, to be fair, rather realistically, uh, when they see all their bodies there, it's like, yeah. There was a little building over there. didn't see that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at this, and I'm like, yeah, you know what? I would feel the same. <laughs> just, oh, my God. <laughs> There's just so many. And they're all piling on top of each other. It's kind of hilarious. Like, you can't actually... You could actually walk across this particular plateau of ground, and you would not step on the ground. You'd just be on squelch, squelch. You'd just be hearing squelch, 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 squelch. Yeah, I, just, I also just realized, this is like the third or fourth time I've done this. Now, I've re I realize that this is probably not a, as rare of an a tactic as I, uh, as it probably is, you know, to other people's minds. But I can't help but feel like I have to make note of it because it's like, yep, there's another bloody regiment. Like, I can't help but I do find that I've been able to do this now a few times in this campaign alone. Which, oh wow, they're actually stuck. Okay, now they're wavering. Oh, we're getting into combat. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, nope. Not quite. They're reloaded, but they're not able to reload fast. I'll be fair, I kind of wish the per percussion cap reload. Like, one thing I did like about... The, well, one thing I don't get about the, uh, the, the research rate is that the percussion cap... I, I'm, I'm just taking progressively more photos because I just want to have a sort of slideshow of, like the battlefield getting even more covered in corpses it's ridiculous but like i kind of would have thought in addition to maybe a reduction in in the 
jamming of the weapons, or the misfire chance, I should probably say more correctly. Oh, that's the last regiment. The 15th Guards, that's, that's them. Playing. So once they route, that's it. We've won the battle. Immediately there. So as soon as they touch the thing, battle is done. Here we go. So that's the total corpse amount. Okay, we took casualties. I'm not going to sugarcoat that, but close victory. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, we, we, I would call it heroic victory because definitely it was a bit of a slugfest, but come on. We were outnumbered two to one and we kicked ass and Mr. Falkenstein here has definitely earned his rank of motherfucker. But... <laughs> Sorry, I, I make weird noises to... Oh, are you joking? Are you fucking joking? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> right. This could be problematic. And I kind of feel like this is the best time to wrap up for this episode because otherwise... Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Right. Well, so, yes. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to wrap things up a little earlier or a bit later than normal because, well, I think this is a good cliffhanger point. So, Mr. Our dear general here, Mr. Erbhard Falkenstein, who's currently running a little bit low on troops, uh, is not only going to have to deal with enemy reinforcements. Admittedly, it's not as big as it would be, but and they do have a few cam cavalry. But I'm also now having to run the motherfuckers into the ground in order to try and save Madrid. The enemy are desperate to save Spain and desperate to do whatever they can to retain control of their capital. And all I can say is, let us hope and pray that we can hold the line long enough for... Oh shit, they got light infantry. That's not good. I mean, they're light, they're, 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 they're light on their light infantry, but they're still light infantry. So yeah, I'm hoping that yeah we can do some good against it but that'll have to be for another time i'll catch up with you guys next time this is mr jaeger signing out have a good one